Education takes the stage in the ongoing budget battle. While Republicans propose a boost to school funding, Democrats say it should be the full amount Governor Evers had proposed. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayampour has you covered on those details and the surprising development involving the UW system. Governor Evers had proposed raising school funding by more than $600 million. Republicans on joint finance today approve a plan that increases school funding by $150 million. They say that amount is enough because there's plenty of other help coming from elsewhere. Republicans on Thursday tout an education budget that increases spending by $150 million while setting aside $350 million for possible future use. Democrats say it's not enough. But each budget that we've dealt with here for the past, I don't know how many years, hasn't been to where it could have been hasn't been to where it should have been when it comes to K-12 education, and now we have an opportunity to do that. Republicans, though, say with more than $2 billion coming to schools and federal COVID relief, their proposed state funding increase is enough. Within that, spending increase is $86 million for special ed reimbursements, $12 million for mental health reimbursements, and $13 million for transportation aid. One question, though, is whether it's enough of a spending increase to qualify for all of that federal money. GOP leaders say they'll figure it out. We deal with part of it today, certainly by making additional investments like we've been talking about in education. And uh, we'll move along in the budget process and take other actions as we need to to deal with those and any other issues that arise through the budget process as we always do. Late in the afternoon, Republicans move to lift the tuition freeze on the UW system, but pledge they will ensure any increased would be modest. Oh, this decision does not mean tuition rates will automatically increase, but it does give the university system the option of doing so. Reporting from the state capitol, A.J. Bayatpour, 27 News. In a statement, interim UW system president Tommy Thompson says the move from Republicans will allow flexibility to develop talent, generate life-changing research, and deliver the education students expect and families deserve.